Hey guys, my partner Kerry and I just picked up this Jayco Swift and uh, well today I thought I'd do a setup video. Uh, it's not great weather but the rain's finished and apparently according to the radar there's no more coming so let's get into the setup. First of all obviously you get it into position and the next thing is to get it level. Now I've ordered, you can get a spirit level for the front of the drawbar which tells you, uh, which shows you the level. For the purposes of today, I just used any old spirit level to get it level. And on each corner, they have these uh, latches. There's one on each corner, you just undo the latches. Two on this side as well. On the back here is a little, little doorway, and that's where your winder goes in. And pretty much you just start winding up. Just keep an eye out, make sure nothing catches while you're going up. And then on this corner you've got this green cord. You wind up until that goes tight. There you go. Then you just slide out the beds. Under the mattress here, you've got your two supports. Dig them out. Under the back there, one end goes in there to support. And the other end, just in there, just slides into there. That's what holds up your bed. Just lift it up with your shoulder and just slips into place. Other side. And there you go. Right, I just slide. Just put your cover over the corners here. There's Velcro underneath, but I don't do that up yet. Just get that into position. We'll go and do the other side. Now the front's different, just slide that one onto that, same again, just lift with your shoulder, that slips into place, other side, get your shoulder, and there you go, pop your corners over, That one. Under the mattress, you've got another support rod. This one, you lift that bar up, and there's a little locator lug there. Connect that on there, and just push that out. And up here, that just slides into that little. and then go sideways, and that's it. Same on the other side. Under the mattress. Push that open. And locate up the top. There you go. That's the main setup. Now the door, 
The door is up there in the roof. You've got these little toggles which you just turn and that just drops away. It just drops down. And you see there's a hole in the bottom there. And on both sides. And just there. We've got the locating lugs. One on each side. And they just fit into the holes. So they just locate. Like so. Oh, actually, there's a bit of plastic on there. It's just a protective plastic on the outside. Take that off. Once it's located, get your keyways, that just pushes into place like that. And then you turn those keys to lock it in place. Both locked in place there. Now on the inside you've got these other latches that holds it in, pla in, in place while it's stored up top. Now that opens and connects to the main door. Actually that's the wrong way. That should have been closed. So now with the bottom half closed, you drop this section down. Locate on the lugs, such as that, and push it into place. There you go. Lock them in the place. And do your velcros. Now you undo those again and latch the bottom to the top. There you go, now that should open as one door. There you go. That's pretty much it. Now if you're gonna have your awning and your annex, I might do that on another, on another video. It's just a matter of before you're winding it up, you just unzip it and let, let the awning hang down. And also with the bed flies up there, you just unzip it and just let them hang down before you wind up. And then when you get it to this stage, you just erect your poles and your guy ropes. And that should be as simple as that. On the outside here, you want to shield these rods or struts from the weather. So you've got these covers that come around the outside and velcro into place just to keep the weather off them. Just like that. Keeps them nice and dry. And you've still got your velcros on the outside here too. this side too. Lovely. Now under here you've got your velcro supports. I like to get the whole thing up into place because sometimes when you velcro these you can come in too far and then when you try and push that support up inside it really puts a strain on it and it's possible you may even rip it. So I like to get it into place first, and then these Velcros just stick into place. Like that. And on this side. That's it. Nice and neat. Velcroed in place, 
no bugs get in and we do the same on the other side just go over and make sure it's all velcroed along otherwise you'll get your crawlies in there there's the setup now you've got the winder for your legs these are the support legs under there they wind down just so uh, the uh, camper doesn't wobble around when you when you're walking around they simply go that just goes onto that bolt there and it winds down just like that I normally have at least four blocks of wood so you would put a block of wood under that rather than to go straight onto the dirt just supports better and once again you've got four one on each corner two on the back and two under the front there now I've had about four of these style campers before but nothing this new and on these you've got these two support rods which supposedly supports the roof and just slips in there just in case the uh, the cables give um, just one of these on two corners so I just put them on opposite corners I guess one on that side and one on this side just straight up to the roof pushes in the place there I assume that's where they go I'm not entirely certain but it makes sense. Well, that's your little step. And that's it, you're away. Now, I don't know how long that took, but I doubt it was even 10 minutes. I have been meaning to uh, try this though. The old cooktop. Oh, yeah, that works just, just nice. this cover and I'll pack it all away for you I'll watch a bit of YouTube while I'm having a cuppa <laughs> okay so when you're packing up you can't leave anything on these benches nothing on the benches anywhere because the bed comes and slides right along here so everything put away that's only there temporarily and uh, first of all the d the door so you take your velcros off the door inside and out Is there unlatch the top part from the bottom do these inside latches up so it's supported when you lift it once you've got the top latches you pull it away and then out of those holes now you've got to be careful here not to have it swinging down like that if you connect it like that you will break the door when you lower it down I know because I've done it 
So you've got to make sure that it's up like that and then clipped in place. Lock them in place. So now it's nice and high and that's where it's supposed to be. Okay. These supports. Remove them. Let that just fall down. Put your support under the mattress. Same with this side. Slip that out. Just let it fall. This under the mattress. Now it's just a matter of going outside and pushing the beds in. And the velcros can come off all the way around. Pull the supports out. Once again, just lift it with your shoulder and under the mattress. Same with this one. Under the mattress. bed should just push in. Just go and have a look inside when you're halfway down just to make sure it's not catching on anything. No, it's looking good there. It's going to come straight over the top of that. All good. I just push it in just so it's past the frame there. Just so the uh, the top can come and seal on there, and then you just tuck all this carefully on top of the mattress. You got to be careful with these. You start pushing that fly screen around, you can put your fingers through it and tear it. So you be gentle with it, just like that. Tuck these corners up there so they don't get pinched and we'll do the other side oh don't forget these too so I'll push them back in underneath Never leave these on the ground and say, I'll come back to them because you'll leave them behind, straight under the mattress. That should push in. Once again, just tuck all this on top of the mattress. Now don't forget these poles that you put in here, the support poles. I'll need to come out. And this one. And now, just wind down. To wind up is clockwise, to wind down, anti-clockwise. Wind it down about halfway and then go and check all your, all your, the canvas is gonna wanna blow out. So you push it back in gently. Like that. Wherever possible, push against the canvas rather than the fly screen. You can push that in. In the back here, it really tends to blow out. So push in the middle rib here. Just push all that in. And then keep winding down. Now I'll just walk around now and just 
give the final touches. It's all looking pretty good. That's all right. A little bit there, just poke that up. That's not there. Give that a bit of a poke in. That's all looking pretty good. So you can come all the way down now. Last few ones. And that's it, that's down. You just push that down. Remember all that canvas is on top of the mattresses, so you just need to push it down a little bit with your hand and then on goes the clamps locks into place this one too locks up into place Get your little toggles here for your awning. It goes into place, locks in. Same on this side. There you go. Don't drive away with this down. Do not drive away with those legs down. You will do incredible damage. So you go around and wind all the legs up. All the way till the bottom's out. Take that and take that. Close your hatch up and lock it in place. the only problem with this one a lot of them the last one I had there was a, a front boot here for storage where you can keep your your winders and things like that but um, there's nothing on this one put that there you've got to uh, to get inside you've got to undo this side latches lift the roof a little bit to be able to open your door because the roof locks the door in place so you've got to prop it up a little bit to be able to open the door it's a bit of a pain put the annex in there there you go lock that Turn the gas bottle off too. I don't want to travel with that on. So anyway, thanks for watching this one guys. See you on the next one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.